Okay then, in this video we will do three things. So the first one would be to link the apps to our GeoJungle project. So in the previous videos we created two apps. So the first one is Culture Heritage Backend and the second one is Culture Heritage Frontend. But we haven't linked them to our GeoJungle project. So we will be linking them and then the second one we will run a migrate command. So as you can see in here, we have a warning which says that I have 18 unapplied migrations. So in order to get rid of this warning, we need to run a migrate command. So we'll do that second. And then we will create a super user. So as you already know, Django or GeoJungle comes with, an, with the admin side out of the box. And in order to use admin side, you need to be able to log in. So with the, with the super user, we'll be able to log in to the admin side, okay? So let's get started. So let's start with the first one, which is linking the apps to our GeoJungle project. To do that, you need to go to settings.py file, and then you need to find install it apps section as you can see in here i don't have i don't have my apps listed in here so that's why i will say in here local apps and in here so this is just a co uh, comment so you can include this or you can omit this whatever you like so now in here i need to link my apps so the first one would be Culture Heritage Backend and then I'll go to Apps and then I need to copy this Culture Heritage Backend config and then we need to specify that Culture Heritage Backend config in here. So the first one in the first uh, one in here would be Culture Heritage Backend so there would be app name then apps which is this file apps.py and then dot culture heritage backend config that's how you link an app to your Django project or geo Django project so similarly we'll do the same with culture heritage frontend so the first one will be here culture heritage frontend dot apps which is this one apps.py file and then I just need to copy this culture heritage frontend config and then put it in here like this. Make sure your spelling is correct and that's it. That's how you link uh, apps to your Django project. Now let's get rid of this warning. So as I said before, we need to run a migrate command. So we'll talk about migrations later on as well. So basically migrations are a way to reflect changes you have done to your models. So in Django or in GeoJungle, you have this models.py file. So you can in here create models. So then those models will be your database tables. All right. And then if you make changes to your model, or let's say you create a new model, you need to run a migration command to reflect those changes in the database. Let's say you created a new model. Then you need to run a migration command to create a new uh, database table. Um, similarly, if you make changes to your existing model, then you need to run again a migration command to reflect those changes in your database table. So we'll come to, uh, to those uh, migrations etc later on for now we're gonna be using uh, a migrate command just to get rid of this error oh sorry it's not error it's just a um, warning okay so what I need to do is I just need to quit or stop my server and then I need to run py manage manage.py and then uh, migrate so you can in here specify apps so for instance you can say hey just run migrate migrate command for specific um, for specific 
application or app in Django. But in my case, I'm just running this migrate, migrate command without being it specific, okay? So that means it's gonna apply for all my apps and etc. But I don't have any, I don't have any models in here. That's why it's not gonna do any change. Uh, it's not gonna do anything relating to my apps. So now we have finished running our migrate command. So now what we need to do is we need to create our super user. So in order to create a super user, I'll write py manage dot py and then create super user so make sure that they are uh, so this create super user one word so they are not separate so you click on that and then it's going to ask you username so in my case username would be ikram.nishambayev so that would be my first name dot last name so email address i'll just leave it blank and then password so set up your password and probably it's gonna ask you to repeat it again. So then you should see, you should see uh, this one super created successfully. So now if I run my development server, I should not have that warning in here. That's good. And, and then if we go to localhost 8000 that's uh, that support my web server is running at so then if i say admin so that's django administration web, uh, website or portal so in here you can log in to the admin site so specify your username so then password so here we go but as you can see i have just two uh, sections in here so the first one is groups and the second one is users because I haven't created any database um, table yet that's why I don't uh, I don't see and we don't see them in here so and I just want to point out that this admin side is for administrators or for website administrators to log in and to manage uh, the content of the website it's not for uh, for users for website users, all right? So if you wanna create a website uh, uh, admin site for website users, then you need, to, you need to do it in a different way. But for now, this one will do for us. So just log out uh, if you want, and then if you click on this, you can log in again, okay? So basically in this video, we linked our apps to our Django project, then we ran our migrate command, and then in the third step, we created our super user. So that's it regarding this video and we'll continue uh, tutorials in the next one.